Hyperkalemia is a condition characterized by high serum potassium levels that can become a medical emergency if not properly managed. One effective way to manage or treat this state is by administering bicarbonate. Bicarbonate, in its role of managing hyperkalemia, instigates a shift of potassium intracellularly. It raises the pH, which prompts the release of hydrogen ions from cells. This sequence of events is followed by the movement of potassium intracellularly to maintain electroneutrality. This is because both potassium and hydrogen ions carry a positive charge, making the shift essential for balance. Dosing is an important aspect to consider. For bicarbonate, the typical dosage is 150 millimoles per liter, administered via intravenous infusion or one ampule given as a bolus. As with any medication, it's crucial to adjust the dosage according to the specific needs of the patient. Let's turn our attention to the pharmacology of bicarbonate. It takes several hours for bicarbonate to start working, with the duration of action extending until the infusion is stopped. However, like any medication, bicarbonate is not without its adverse effects. These include metabolic disturbances, such as hypernatremia, hypocalcemia, hypokalemia, and metabolic alkalosis. Therefore, it's vital to closely monitor patients for these disturbances while they're undergoing treatment with bicarbonate. Let's not forget, bicarbonate is just one piece of the puzzle when it comes to treating hyperkalemia. It's one of many powerful tools in our arsenal against this condition. However, as it is with all potent tools, an understanding of its workings and usage is crucial. Only by fully grasping its mechanism of action and the best ways to administer it can we truly harness its maximum potential.